All right, it all started with this tweet to protest a new HBO show called Confederate. A Maryland man stated his state's flag is half Confederate, which ended up being retweeted thousands of times. So we sent our Deborah Alfaro to verify. Hey there, Leslie. Well, before I tell you what I learned, let's just admit, Marylanders love the Maryland flag. It's on t-shirts, it's tattooed on biceps, it's on helmets, it's even, and even the man who started the tweet storm who lives in Maryland says, he was taken by surprise. I, mean, I didn't even know when I started looking up that um, that the Maryland flag had any Confederate ties at all. For those who don't know, and that included me, the red and white stands for the Crossland coat of arms, the black and gold for the Calverts. Who are they? Basically, the mom and dad of Lord Baltimore who founded Maryland. However, during the Civil War, what happened was um, Marylanders who fought for the North uh, took the black and yellow Calvert part of the coat of arms and used that as their banner. And the uh, Marylanders who uh, were secessionists and who sided with the Confederacy took the red and white portion, which is called the Crosslands banner. But it had absolutely nothing to do with slavery. Maryland Senate President Mike Miller is also a Civil War historian. To Benjamin Yunsavich's research that says Confederate sympathizers often wore red and white as a subtle protest, he says... You're wearing red today. The Maryland Senate's color is red. Our, our, uh, our University of Maryland football team is red, white, black, and gold. People can take symbolism any way they want, but honestly and truly, our Maryland flag has nothing to do with uh, slavery. Uh, the entire Maryland flag has a lot to do with slavery. Um, Calvert himself owns slaves, so both portions of the flag actually have to do with slavery. But the distinction that I'm making is that the Confederates uh, championed the red and white part of the banner so much that it actually became illegal in Baltimore to fly that flag or wear those colors. And we've been working on this story up to the minute. I'm looking right now at the state website. That information is actually true. And I'm just going to read a little bit here. Uh, following Lincoln's election in 1861, red and white, uh, secession colors appeared on everything from yarn stockings uh, to children's clothing. And people displaying these red and white symbols of resistance were vigorously uh, prosecuted by federal authorities. There's just so much, so many layers to this story, Leslie. Very complicated. It so, is. But, but what I'm hearing you say mm -hmm. is there is a reference to the Confederacy in those red and white colors yeah. that appear in the Maryland state flag. And you can find it right on the website as well. All right. We know there will be continued talk, debate oh, yes. about this. Absolutely. All right, Deb.